YouTube, JC back here. Um, I would use one of Curmudgeon's lines, but uh, he's already got that nailed down, so I'll just say Happy Monday, I guess. He can finish the rest of it up. But um, smoking some Former's Straight Grain today, and uh, this was courtesy of Uncle Willie. He sent me a, um, a sample of four of these. I think it's the only ones they make. I mean, they probably make some off ones or something, but that's the four staples that they make. And uh, I've been smoking this one for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so. Just got done doing something I haven't done in a while. And that's washing my car by hand anyways. Obviously, I've taken it to car washes, but I'm not one of those people that's going to sit out there and hand wash a car when it's 35 degrees out. So it's beautiful out. So, I just had to wash my car. But, sitting back and enjoying a nice pipe now. And, um, right off the bat, this one definitely has a good amount of perique in it. It says it has a, I looked at the description of it. I haven't looked at any reviews or anything of it, but the description said Virginia perique. And it said, I just read the description of it, because I don't have a 10 with me. But, it said, um, dark in Virginia is with a pinch of perique in the old world fashion or whatever. I think it's got more than a pinch, but that's just my opinion. It kind of, I doubt it has 25% like that, but it kind of reminds me of C and D by, uh, C and D Bayou Mooring a little bit. Um, that one has, and it's not because you get a nice hit of Perique, but it's not real spicy in your face in my opinion. For having that much perique that that has, you would think it would just be um, blow you away spicy. This one isn't as spicy. It does have a spice to it. It's probably about a 4 out of 10 maybe on the retro hero, but there's not really a lot on your tongue, to be honest with you. I'd say it's a combination of all three to be honest with you. You get just a touch of the black pepper on the tip of your tongue, and you get some white and red pe pepper spice. You get a little bit in the back of your throat, too. Um, it does have a bit of sweetness to it. I wouldn't consider this a sweet blend. But it's sweet enough to keep you interested. It's definitely got that a um, little bit of plummy, dark fruitiness going on to it. It's got more of a savoriness than anything, in my opinion. It's just... Um, it's one of those pretty satisfying blends. Psh, try to talk with a pipe in my mouth. But uh, one of those uh, satisfying type blends where, because like I said, I just got home from work, washed my car. And uh, it's definitely strong enough to do that, in my opinion. The only other thing to me that's as strong as Perique, as strong as uh, some of these Kentuckys is, is Perique. Some of these Periques are heavy hitters, in my opinion. A little windy out. Um, I don't see where this one had a topping. Not really getting a lot of anything that would be a topping either. The, like I said, the Virginias in this are definitely, like right there, I got a, I got a pretty good hit of Perique right there. And you had that little bit of figginess with a lot of spice. It was just like that, you know, it's almost like a umami ness kind of flavor to this one as well. But yeah, the uh, the Virginias are, they're definitely, this one almost has like a darker, deeper molassesy type of sweetness to it. It's not, it's not real, and you can see by looking at it, it's not real bright. Doesn't have a lot of that grassy, hay-like type sweetness that some of the brighter Virginias can have. But, but, anyways, I'll just make this one short, and uh, I definitely recommend it, and um, if you've had it, let me know.